This card might look normal at first, but as soon as I hover over it, the corner gets inverted. And no, this is not some weird CSS trick with clip path or SVGs. This works because of a brand new CSS property called corner shape. The best part is it comes with multiple new values, which opens the door for some really creative designs, like this sales tag or this squircle, which looks way better than normal rounded corners. In this video, I will show you exactly how corner shape works in just a few minutes. Let's start. Right now, CSS corners work like this. We set a border radius and every corner becomes round. That's it. But with the corner shape property, we can change the geometry of a corner. Not the radius, but the shape itself. We have the values scoop, bevel, notch, square, and squircle. But we also get the super ellipse function, which allows for even more precise adjustments of the shape. More on that at the end of the video. Let's start with corner shape notch. Now the corners turn into square cutouts. And just like before, border radius controls how big those corners are. Bigger radius means more extreme shape. Now let's see what bevel does. This will cut the corners at a clean 45 degree angle. And if I push the border radius to 50%, I get a diamond shape. Now all the other values work exactly the same. So instead of over explaining, just look at this overview. The corner shape controls the shape and border radius controls the size of that shape. Now let's see how we can use this property to create some really creative designs. The first thing you need to know is that you can apply a different corner shape on each corner. That means you can either use these four properties for each individual corner, or you can pass four values to one property. For example, corner shape, bevel, notch, scoop, squircle. Now every corner has a different shape. Let's try to apply this knowledge to create a sales tag. This sales tag should be pointy on one side. First, I need a red background. And all of this gets a few starts. Nothing special yet. Now the important part are the corners. For that, we have to use corner shape bevel, but we only want to use that on the right side. So let's apply four values, one for each corner. Round, bevel, bevel, round. And that already looks much better. Now we can fine tune this by applying a different border radius for each corner. That way, the corners meet perfectly in the middle and we get this pointy sales tag. Now, before I show you the inverted corners example, here's a quick reality check. Corner shape is a new property, so it has limited browser support. Currently, it works in Chrome and Microsoft Edge, but not in Firefox. Nonetheless, it is not a fundamentally important CSS property. So if it doesn't work in a browser, it won't break your website. The browser will just ignore it and nothing bad happens. Now let's learn about this cool card design I showed you at the beginning. Imagine this was like a social media app and you could attach a reaction to this, which expands in an inverted corner. How would that work in CSS? Well, you would start with a normally styled card. And when I hover over it, I will change the corner top right shape property to a value called scoop. I will also increase the border radius for the top right corner to make it even more obvious. Now we can add the before pseudo element, which is the thumbs up emoji. It will receive a ton of styles to make it look good but I won't go into detail because this is pretty simple CSS. The only important and difficult aspect here could be the positioning. I want to anchor the before element to the card. So I use position anchor card and define that anchor name on the card too, dash dash card. Using position area, I can place it on the top right corner of the card. And to fine tune the position, let's translate it back by 50%. All right, now let's also set a small transition because I want to set scale to zero per default and on hover, I will set scale back to one. So that way the pseudo element will grow when I hover over the card. I will also add a transition to the card itself so that the corner animates smoothly. Wow, this looks super awesome. Before we get to the super ellipse function, I want to fix a small problem here. Since we used scoop on the corner, we are reducing the element's interactive area, which means if I hover over here, I'm leaving the card with my mouse and this closes the corner again. So I end up with this buggy effect, which is not optimal. An easy fix for this would be using another pseudo element. It should sit in the top right corner, covering the corner I scooped out. Then we make it transparent so that we cannot see it. And now I can hover over this area without a problem, because the pseudo element will trigger the hover for the scooping. Now let's find out about the super ellipse function. If you use the value zero, it is the same as bevel. The value one will be round, but you can also pass in every value in between, which allows for very precise control over the shape of the corner. You can also see how every value above one will get closer to no border radius at all. Everything below zero will get closer to scoop and eventually notch. What do you think about this new CSS property? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you're curious about this position anchor syntax and you haven't heard about the recent changes with CSS positions, then I recommend you watch my tutorial on modern positions, which is linked right here. My name is Fabian and this was Coding2Go.